So now it's my pleasure uh, to turn to the third uh, leg or third segment of our um, uh, discussion this afternoon to look at uh, some country experiences, um, how we had been about, or some countries had managed to, to capture these elements of intermediary cities in the context of urban ruling cities to transform their territories in different ways. So um, uh, privilege to have uh, Professor Radwan, Hassan Radwan, from the, who is the director and of the School of Architecture, Planning and Design um, and coordinator of, coordinator of Social Innovation Lab in Mohammed VI Polytechnic University in Morocco, uh, who will share with us uh, how, uh, in the context of Morocco in particular, rapid urbanization uh, had fueled uh, the growth of intermediary cities and the importance of rural uh, development. And I think it came earlier in uh, Rose's presentation was to talk about the rural transformation. So again, Professor Radwan, you have the floor. Yes, uh, do, you, do, you, do you hear me? Yes, hear me? Do, you, do you hear me? The voice is good? The voice is good? There's a bit of echo, but uh, let's yes. see. Uh, okay, there is an echo now. Do you hear me, please? Hello? Hello? That's, that's better. That's, that's better. better. That's better. Yes, good. Yes, good. Uh, I'm trying to share my uh, my PowerPoint. Uh, okay. Uh, anyway, so um, I don't need an, a PowerPoint, maybe just um, to go through uh, things. All right. So, Remy, thank you for um, for this gathering, and I'm delighted and happy to see. Uh, uh, to see that this event is taking place regarding intermediary cities. That is uh, indeed a very uh, strategic topic. Why? Uh, I may be a little bit, uh, as you know me, Remy, a little bit polemical, um, a little bit uh, create, you know, put some spice on the subject. I think this term even of intermediary cities is a, is a problem because who should be intermediary, you know? Uh, and why? Uh, and we're, when we look at different definitions, what means intermediary cities, it's just like little small towns. We ask them to play a role to connect between the giant urbanized areas, wild metropoles, and little, you know, poor rural areas. I think it's not fair to put such pressure on these settlements. Let's actually use the generic term human settlements rather they're just intermediary. And they have a joke in Morocco. Uh, uh, if you look at the map of Morocco, most of the cities are inter intermediary. <laughs> uh, most of the cities, you have Casablanca, wild urbanized area, taking almost 25% of the number of urban, urban density. Uh, and then the whole of Morocco is still intermediary. So we have more than uh, 50 intermediary cities if we define them by the number of population that are from like 10,000 to 1 million, if we may agree on the number. So th therefore, I think we need to be, sh to be very careful with the name intermediary. Intermediary means the number of population that will grow. Intermediary means temporality, that means we're waiting for this intermediary to be a real city, or intermediary in terms of economics, and we want that intermediary city to be more prosperous. And hence the dilemma. Uh, so what I may say, instead of using intermediary cities, this, uh, this kind of uh, growing human settlements, that they need to reach a certain urban maturity where you have security, human comfort, health and hygiene problems to be addressed, education, and of course, create also a value. The problem of intermediary cities in Africa, including Morocco, most of them, they have the title of being poor. They are not intermediary cities of opportunities, but they are intermediary cities of dormitory, uh, dormitory cities. Most of these intermediary, they are actually answering the need and the pressure of housing rather than uh, investing in technology, investing in infrastructure, 
investing in services, investing in global as well, linkage. How many intermediary small cities they created big image internationally? And Rumi, you know very well, Ben Greer. Ben Greer is a little, if we may use intermediary cities, but thanks, thanks to a royal action, we set up one prestigious university there. And thanks to knowledge, thanks to education, we were able to promote this intermediary city from a level of just being poor to a level that is attracting investments, attracting tourists, attracting students. So therefore, what are the internal elements to promote the intermediary cities? But we cannot just say to the intermediary city to be at the, the standard. We need to see what the governmental, regional, balance system since in Morocco we pursue this re advanced regionalization to boost these intermediary cities in different regions in order to create an economic equity at the, the territorial level, which is the country. And I think we need to be very careful, like the case of Egypt, where we have 100 million and we have a wild Cairo, where you have now uh, officially 30 million. Why not? not to have these very wild urbanized areas with high uh, population density and create a regional balance. Therefore, intermediary doesn't mean uh, accidental cities. No, they are needed. We need more intermediary cities to have territorial equity, territorial balance, territorial innovation. And this is why very important to think about what kind of resources that they need to be distributed in a very equitable way at the national level. So to cut my story short, uh, I have slides, but they are not needed, honestly, because in this way I concentrate. So I have five points that we need to consider in these intermediary cities based on the case of Morocco. One, we need to consider that intermediary cities, they are so important and they are needed. Why? Because there is a sense of belonging and sense of identity. In the intermediary cities, most of the citizens, they are in the vicinity of that city or they belong to the rural area of that city. So for me, an intermediary city is better than Casablanca, where you have immigrants coming from all over Morocco and they have no sense of belonging to that big metropole and they are losing their sense of belonging and sometimes they are getting weak. So therefore, the intermediary cities in Morocco, they are playing a major role. Number two, number two, I think this, uh, uh, this quite of reg the advanced regionalization, how we can promote regions. And when we talk about the region, we talk about resources, we talk about landscape, we talk about a lot of elements of sustainability and resilience. I would underline in the third point, sustainability and resilience. Resilience is not just about catastrophes, but resilience, how to boost the immune system of communities in these uh, intermediary cities to play their role where people, they have that sense of belonging to create a real human establishments that they are sustainable. Very important. So we are not we should not look at intermediary cities like a phenomenon that needs to be, uh, be a problem. Uh, like in French, we say la problématique. C'est pas une problématique. It's an opportunity. Intermediary cities are an opportunity. Please, we need to change the mindset. The big metropoles are the problem, you know? And these are, they created a misbalanced territorial one, like Raf has mentioned. This is why I would just mention the, the, the fourth point, is actually intermediary cities in Morocco with evidence they played major role in terms of COVID-19 in the time of crisis than in Casablanca. We may manage intermediary cities in terms of, of uh, health crises and, and like the case of COVID, like other ones. So therefore, resilience in intermediary cities is, is, is better than a metropole in Africa. Most of the metropoles in Africa, we just have large urbanization devouring resources, devouring uh, agricultural land. And this is the last point that I want to mention. Intermediary cities are so important to keep the role of promoting agriculture. In Africa, we are an agriculture culture. 
So therefore, how can we sustain agriculture and how can we set food security? We cannot assure food security with Casablanca, Kinshasa, Cairo. Food security relies on these intermediary cities to be in, to play an important role to activate the role of um, farmers and give them a decent life. So farmers, they are uh, they are scattered all around the land and they are in a very miserable conditions all over Africa. So we are giving them this chance of intermediary cities where they can find their services, they can find help, they can find lots of elements of comfort, and they are so important to support agricultural activity. And the, the last part is actually natural landscape, natural landscape. Please, Remy, I would alarm my colleagues around. The more we are scattering this urbanization uh, all around and we are pushing intermediary to be big city, we may have economic profit by being big, but they are devouring resources. They are creating misbalance. So how can we shift the paradigm of intermediary cities from just looking at them intermediary stuck in a situation to intermediary? That means um, uh, and we may change even the, the, the name of intermediary to, to settlements, human settlements that support the sustainable agriculture in Africa and support also the genius logic. Because most of these intermediary cities, we still have artisanal, we still have local know-how, we still have the sense of culture, because the more we get a metropole, it gets wild, like Casablanca. So we don't see... The, 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 the sense of identity or culture. So therefore, culture is very essential in order to sustain life, an ecosystem of decent life in order to sustain agriculture and in order, of course, to create a decent um, realm for uh, uh, the living of people. And thank you so much. I just wanted to shake the ground a little bit with my colleagues because all of us, we speak like slides, 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 intermediary, 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 10,000, 3,000, 1 million. Please, we need to change our mindset. Now the rural is the future. The big metropoles are the cause of all problems. So let us see intermediary rural urban settlements that they have all kind of comforts and thanks to technology thanks to smartness we can have electricity we can have wi-fi we can everywhere so i prefer now myself to live in the top of the mountains in morocco than live in one of the metropoles where there is a nightmare a nightmare and in the covid situation a, a farmer in one hectare was actually happier than a rich person in an apartment of 100 square meters in Casablanca. And thank you so much.